Hello everybody, my name is The Pound Trader. I'll be making an analysis for The Pound USD for Thursday the 12th of September and uh, Friday the 13th of September. Welcome to the channel. Starting over on the weekly time frame, just very quickly. So you can see here on the weekly time frame, we were making higher highs and higher lows. Um, now me personally, I was expecting the um, this weekly sort of situation to retrace, but um, I can see that we have this key level over here, and this is like a resistance zone that has now become support for the current price action. And we can see that for this resistance, it's actually a key level because we have points here, points there. It's a pretty um, strong level, yeah? And we can see that price has not really closed below this level here. Now, I saw this and I was like, man, as much as I really wanted to do trace, I have to be careful because I have to monitor what's happening over here. And maybe now when I go to the daily time frame, uh, so that I can just explain what I think. Now, I even highlighted this zone over here, and we can see that yesterday's candle, which was Wednesday, it's still closed above this level here. So this is a sign for me to know that price might not really um, end up breaking below here. And instead, I think that it might do like a small sort of retracement before looking for those sells because I have been on the sell side for uh, the whole year almost, right? So for me, I think that price is going to make just a small retracement to react off this level. Um, it's not the strongest bearish candle, but we still had a rejection. So I think it's worth considering. And then maybe look for sells around this level or around that level over there. So I hope that makes sense. Um, going over to the four hour time frame. Um, now I have this trend line here and I know you might be thinking, why do I have a trend line that's just in space and not, you know, but basically um, there's something that I've come to realize um, called trend line angles. And this to me is a bit too steep of an angle. A lot of the times when price starts to make like the first swing points, the trend line is normally like from 45 degrees going onwards. So this is just something for me to just keep in mind. Maybe price might come over to this level over here. When I put my moving averages, we can see that we have the 20 and we have the 50. So this might be like more confirmation for price maybe to make that pullback that I was talking about to this level here. Now, if I put my Fib retracement level just for another, you know, uh, confluence, uh, we have the 38.2 level, which is here. This might be a bit of a shallow retracement. So I'm thinking maybe even the 50 would be nice. If it does end up coming to the 50, that's still okay. Before um, maybe looking for the sales around this level here. If price does end up pushing back to this level, this will be nice because it will be a double top and the sales would be, would be a better confirmation. But as per now, um, it's going to be honest, I'm on a short term buy um, just because, and we can also see that we had this bullish engulfing candle over here. Um, normally on the four hour time frames, I tend to trust candles on the four hour time frame more. So this here is just an indication that price might do a bit of movement. And even if you count the pips, I think there's some decent movement here around, let's say around 60 pips that I think can be targeted. I normally target 60 pips. I'm an intraday trader. So we'll see how it goes. But when I scale down to the one hour time frame, I will explain in detail my entry. So yeah, we can see here, this is the zone that I had, this red um, zone over here. And now we have almost like a double bottom price rejected off this level. Small bullish, um, not a small bullish candle, but it's a decent um, bullish candle. And so I uh, currently have a trade from here. My stop loss is around 30 pips and you can see that I have an alert. Yeah, my stop loss is always 30 pips. I don't do less than that. And for me, I have targeted 450 pips just for a 1 to 1.5 risk to word ratio. Um, because targeting 60 for me is a bit of a risk. Look, if you see, look at the 60, it's a bit too far. Price might get up to there, but for some days I do target one is to five. So currently, um, this would be like ideal for a price to come back to this level or there to this trend line that I had. And then now probably look for those sales. So that is my bias. I really hope I've made sense. My opinion, please share yours because obviously I might not be right. And more confluence as to why I'm looking for a short term buy. Um, if we go over to the dollar index, we can see um so the dollar index here we had a rejection around this level over here and maybe if i just move back to maybe the monthly we can see that price is still rejecting off this level here and in my view i honestly think that the pound might just go up one more time for it to now come back to this uh channel that we have over here so yeah that's also a reason as to why you know if the pound i mean the dollar is going up then that means the the pound might be going down as well oh I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, um, let me just go to the four hour time frame. 
uh -huh. so for our time frame we can see that we have this level over here sort of rejecting and we can see that price hasn't really managed to break above so if the dollar does end up making like another maybe even like a another double bottom here that'll be cool because at least it will confirm the short-term buy that i have on the pound for it to move up i'm still bullish on the dollar and even just a more reason we have this long wick over here and normally even over here as well i hope you can see and normally when we have these wicks these very long wicks price does tend to come and make like a wick fill and we also have a 20 year may on the daily time frame as well so I'm just hoping that price can make just a small retracement um, and then reject from this level as again, because we can see it's a very strong monthly level for me to look for those uh, sales on the, <laughs> the pound. I really hope I've made sense. Please comment if I've made sense. Okay, just moving over to the uh, Forex factory today, 3.15 East African time. We have some news on the euro and the USD, some PPI news, unemployment and at 3 45 we'll have some euro news and no news on friday so i hope i've made sense this is basically what i'll be looking for um and even on friday if i'm able to get up an opportunity around this level here after my buy has completed hopefully if it hits tp <laughs> um, i'll be looking for sales around this level here stay tuned for my next video which will be for monday and have